Okay, so I just opened up my Uber app. I saw a couple of reservations sitting in there for Wednesday. I'm like, oh shit, hold up. 3.15 in the morning, and then another one at 3.55. These are both going to the airport, and one of them's by ASU going to the airport, as you can see on the map, and the other one's going is right just north of ASU going. So let me open these to see if I can show you. So that's ASU, that black dot, way over there on the right, and that's the airport. That's it, and they're like 19 bucks. I'm like, fuck it, I'll take it, because I live by ASU, so I might as well take it. This one's just north of the airport. That's on uh, in Scottsdale, right there on Thomas. So I'm going from there. To, I'm like, this is too easy. So that's two trips. So as soon as I drop one off the airport, I'm gonna shoot up six miles, get him and bring him back. So I'm driving about 12 miles total. Six miles to go get him, six miles back for $18. Cool, I'll do that. So that's basically how I'm setting up my early morning. Cause at 3.15 in the morning on Wednesday, ain't nobody doing shit. Nobody ain't out riding around nowhere. All the bars are closed. Everybody's going to sleep or either getting up to go to work and shit. So I'm like, I'm taking those. So I took those two reservations early in the morning. That pretty much covers my gas for tomorrow. Cause that's about 40 bucks. And I'm gonna use maybe $20 a day. So I'm gonna probably try to drive 20 bucks worth of gas tonight, 20 bucks worth of gas tomorrow. These two rides cover all that. Everything else is profit. Okay, as soon as I got through talking about those reservations, they tried to throw me another airport reservation for $20, 14 miles away. Now this is the problem. Once I drop off these people for $18.70, I'm gonna be at the airport, which means I gotta drive 14 miles to get to Mummy Mountain Road just to drive 14 miles back. What's that? Uh, no, I don't wanna do that right now. I'm cool on that shit. Nope. So I gotta drive 14 miles from the airport to Mummy Road and 14 miles back. So that's 28 miles of driving for 14 for $20. So I can't accept that one. That one's not a good one. Like I said, I'm, I try to do all the good rides for high dollars and stuff like that. But once you start getting the shit like that, I mean, that's 28 miles round trip. Cause like I said, I'm already at the fucking airport and I gotta go all the way up there to get them and all the way back. If they offer me $40 for that, I do it. But they're only offering me $20. So that's, that's a no go for me. I can't do that. That I'll leave that for somebody else. Okay, so I'm sitting way over here in Mesa right now. And there's a surge clear over here by South Mountain. Man, I swear, people out here are fucking crazy, man. They crazy. All right, so let me go turn on lift real quick. See what I can get out of this little app over here. Oh, I'm already online with them. Damn, I've been online with them, I guess. They just ain't sending nothing right now. All right, let me make sure. Let me go through here. Well, I got to be on Lyft because they sent me a couple of Lyft rides, and it was just garbage. So I was like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Yeah, I got all shared types on there. But like I said, they, both of these apps right now are just sending out some garbage. So I'm not doing any driving. I already got those two set up on the, uh, the reservations for early in the morning. I'll be up because, like I said, I slept half the day, did what I had to do. Let's see what they're talking about on Lyft. $13 for that shit. Nah, no, I'm cool on that. I don't, that's just not what I'm talking about. That's way too fucking far south. I'm cool. So what I'm trying to do is, is you know, get some short rides, stay in the area, dollar a mile, $2 a mile, something like that. I already got my morning airport ride scheduled. So at about three o'clock, I'm done doing, you know, regular driving. I'll just only do airport. That's it. And hopefully they start throwing surge and shit in the morning. Because if they so, those start throwing surge in the morning, shit, I might cancel those motherfuckers and just do my own shit. I got a funny feeling they're setting up rides like that so they can throw surge out. Those are two good rides, though. With the surge and shit they got on there, they're actually pretty good. So I might actually keep them so I ain't got to deal with the shit. Like I said, right now, yeah, there's nothing going on anywhere. Like I said, it, it's completely like blank all over the fucking place. There's nothing Here's Vegas way up here. Let's see what Vegas is doing. Oh, that's my homeboy right there. I see him driving down the street. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, so shit. We're on Kingman. Let's keep going. Kingman, Kingman, Phoenix. Here we go. Way the fuck down here. Yeah, but like I said, they ain't got shit going on, man. It's like, yeesh. I might have to call it good early and just go home, rest up a little bit, and do my airport shit in the morning. Because like I said, I ain't doing nothing but sitting here. I might just go home, do some website shit or whatever like that, but I don't know. I just updated my uh, my shirt website, so if you guys want some shirts or some shit like that, I'll put a link in the description. Just go and just check some shirts out. You ain't got to buy shit. Just go and see what's out, out there. You'd be like, damn, you know, I might get one of these one day. Who the fuck knows? 
But like I said, I'm always throwing designs on my on my site for bikers, whatever. So feel free to check that shit out. Yeah, I've been sitting here chilling. I'm still in the same spot I haven't left. I've been doing some work on my phone and everything. Check this out. They got the airport down at the Mesa airport is bumping. Plus, right down the highway, they got a little surge going on down there. Now, here I am right here. So, and here's the other airport way over here past Tempe. There's nothing going on over there. So, I'm thinking if I start creeping to the east a little bit, if I could pick up some of that surge, but I got a funny feeling the closer I get east, they're going to pull all this away. Because, I mean, there's nothing really over there. Honestly, it's like a gas station off the highway, stuff like that. And see, things like that, I just don't feel like dealing with right now. Because I don't care if I don't make money. I'm actually making money in other ways right now. So me sitting here working on my phone, doing things I got to take care of, I'm making money, marketing, getting the website out and stuff like that. Because I got to do the administration myself for that shit. It's not free. I mean, I got to get word out that my site is, you know, doing well. But I don't know. I'm thinking about going down here and trying to get some of this money. Cause I ain't doing shit but just chilling anyways It's either that or just go back home Until my uh, airport rides in the morning So that's my choice right there I just got some orders on the trip radar $2.50 For some Bosa donuts uh, Somebody took that I mean I was about to take it Because I mean that's probably the best deal I've seen In at least 3-4 fucking years $2.50 for 3.7 miles I mean what is that like a Lux Black Donut delivery or some shit like that You know that is, that is an incredible Fucking delivery $2.50 In 15 minutes multiply that by 4 that's $10 An hour I mean That's a lot of fucking money for the Great Depression god damn it This is 2023 you motherfuckers smoking <laughs> kind of what's bothering me about this whole uber shit because you see this now they got you know surging like crazy over here 825 this is me i'm still sitting right here because i ain't going no fucking i'm just chilling i've been eating fucking granola bars and shit um but they got it surging over here now i could just go to the next block aim down hit the motherfucking highway and be right there but i got a funny feeling that's a fake fucking surge because you don't see shit on lift look at this there's nothing over there for lift and we know Uber's notorious for that shit. They'll throw you a surge and you'll go over there and get the $16. Then they'll give you a fucking 16 mile ride for like $18. They'll be like, oh yeah, we're gonna throw that fucking bonus on for you. We're gonna throw a $16 bonus. You're gonna, but it's a 20 mile trip and we're gonna give you a fucking $24. You know, it's a $16 surge. So you give me $8 for 20 fucking miles. That's the fare. And that's the kind of shit they pull with Uber, which is why I'm really not eager to drive over there. Because we saw last week what they did with me with that fucking surge they did. I mean, they, they gave me a $30 surge, but it was, what, $15 fare on like a fucking 30-mile trip. And I'm sitting there like, that's the kind of shit they pull. They'll give you a good surge, but all of a sudden they'll replace your fare with the fucking surge and you be sitting there driving for nothing. So for me to go over here, to drive from here to there, that's about probably, I would say, eight miles. So it's going to take me eight miles to get here. So that's already eight dollars you know off right there so really that that's a five dollar surge and that's an eight dollar surge and that right there's a three dollar surge that just went eight miles to fucking get there and then if i get a trip and they turn around and give me some bullshit like i said you know 20 miles of driving and they'll be like yeah but we're gonna give you 24 dollars with an 11 dollar surge yeah yeah that means it's a 13 dollar fucking ride all that Bosa Donuts went up. It went up to three fifty nine. dollars Remember, that was at $2.50. They just added a fucking dollar to it. They're trying to get somebody to take that shit. And they're trying to take you take it all the way up to Spencer and Mesa. Nah, 2nd Ave and Spencer. Nah, that shit's not for me. Like I said, it it's only three miles away. You know, three miles total. So it's probably like somewhere around here because it's like a little shopping center and shit. Then you got about another three miles of driving. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling that shit. If they put that motherfucker at $5, I'll go get it. But for three bucks, nah, I'm cool. I'd rather really just sit here and fucking look at all these surges fucking go up. I'm going to close this and open it real quick to see if the surge changes. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go back over here real quick. Nope, still there. Like I'm telling you, man, that's some fuckery, though. Because I got a funny feeling you you drop your ass eight miles to get over there. That surge will go from $13 down to like one buck. You be like, I can't wait to fuck over here for a dollar, and then they're gonna give you a ride because you're gonna be so mad you just burn all that fucking gas. You're gonna take any shit ride you can just to get out of there. It ain't fucking worth it. 
So I'm like, nope, not doing it, not doing it. I'm cool on that shit. Let's see what Lyft's got going on. Like I said, Lyft with no surge, nowhere on the fucking map. Man, Lyft is going downhill. Like I said, it's only a Tuesday night. I got these two airport rides lined up. The rest of this is just its just a slow-ass night. Some, some bunch of bullshit. So let me get out of that real quick because I'm not dealing with that. I'm definitely not riding. Unless there's a surge and shit, I'm not riding. Look at that. The surge disappeared. I told you, if you fucking go over there, that's what's going to happen. That shit's going to disappear the moment you even fucking get close. So I'm like, don't fucking leave. Don't go fall for that shit. Sit right where you are. You get over there and they pull that shit. And you be like, look at that. Dollar fifty. What I tell you, they're going to drop that shit to like a dollar. That's what they do all the fucking time. Be going around trying to pick up surge, getting nothing. Fuck all that. These people think we smoking crack. We know what the fuck is up. Like I said, I've been doing this shit for too long. I already know what the game is. Okay, so I'm still getting all of these, you know, requests. This one here is way out in Avondale. That's way out to the west. Way out here at two something. I mean, that's a good, probably, like I said, 30 minutes to the west of here. Then I got to come all the way back. So that's an hour's worth of driving. I got to go 27 minutes out, 27 minutes back. You know, a total of 48 miles I'll be driving for $21 if I accept that. Nah, not happening. That one's $18.96 for 19 miles. It's sitting in Mesa over here. So it would probably take me about 10, 15 miles to get to them and then 18 miles up. So I'm thinking almost close to about 40 miles close for $18. Nah, I'm not even doing that. And these are the two I accepted. $19 for three miles, that one, and this one is $18 for, you know, six miles. I live by the airport, so pretty much I'm going to drive over to Tempe, pick them up, and that's nowhere. Like I said, I'm right, I'm just south of the airport where that little second, little 143 is, that's probably where I am right there. So I'm going to shoot over, pick them up, and take them back to the airport. So that little, so that's probably about four miles, well not four, shit. So that right there is probably about eight miles total to go out there and get them to come back for $19. And then once I get there, I got to drive up to pick them six miles away and then back. So that's 12 miles total for 12. So that's eight plus 12 miles. So I'll be going about 20 miles total for almost $40. If they tip me, that'll be perfect. But those are the only two trips I got so far. And I'm cool with that. I don't know even about this one down here. This North 13 place. Yeah, that now nah, because that's what 10 miles away from the airport. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. And that one's 11 miles from the airport. Anything that's too far from the airport, I don't even fuck with. Not even off the bat. That one's at 510. It's not that far, but, you know, that's me driving up there to get them. So that's almost 16 miles to go get them. So. Okay, it's about 2.30 in the morning. I'm doing my first ride of the night, 2.30 in the morning. I went home. Like I said, it was slow as hell earlier. So I went home, kicked back, ate, got on the internet, you know, hung out with the dogs. Like I ain't got no money today, none. Because I was that was my last trip last week before I even took a vacation. But this trip with Nina is going to take me over to by where my 315 schedule ride is. Pick them up, shoot them to the airport, then go get my second airport ride. And I'm thinking about picking up a third one. I mean, they won't. Yeah, this is the third one I'm thinking about right here. I'm just it's at 445 in the damn morning, though. Is that one right there? Now, I got to go up there and then back. So that's 16 miles for $18 at 445 in the morning. People will start waking up. Everybody's rolling out of bed and shit. I don't know if I want to do a 16-mile drive for $18 at 445 in the morning. So I might just let that one walk. I don't want to do that one. Because they're just some of this shit is just too far away. I don't want to be bothered with it. So like I said, because I got to go all the way from the airport to get them all the way back. I'm about to just say, fuck it, do what I do. But let me see, where's Nina? Okay, Nina's across here. So I'm going to go pick her up right now. From uh, She's at work. So I'm going to go grab her from work, take her across town then get ready to get my airport shit going hopefully get like a hundred bucks in about maybe two three hours and be done we'll see we'll see okay after i dropped off nina got here a little early so when i look at the pickup info they're still gonna pay me 1906 even though i got here a little early yeah so i gotta sit here for another 11 minutes i'm gonna send him a message just letting him know i'm already here let me see so i got here a little early let's do like that got uh here a little early mark all right so i'll 
almost any net. All right, so now we'll see if he'll come out of this apartment complex or what is he going to do. Uh, hopefully he'll send me a message or something like that because I'm not going to be sitting out here all morning. Man, I hate waiting. I have no idea how much I hate waiting because I'm a mover, man. I like to be out moving, and I don't like to just sit in my car places, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the damn morning on the side of the road. Anybody can come running up out of bushes and shit with a gun. Break yourself, fool. And Uber be like, well, it's against the policy to, to shoot a driver. Like, yeah, like they give a shit. That's why it cracks me up when they be like, yeah, our drivers can't carry. Yeah, thanks for telling every fucking body that, Uber. Appreciate it. You at least should tell these motherfuckers our drivers actually carry when they feel like it. And maybe they'll stop fucking with us all the time. But going around telling motherfuckers our drivers don't carry and they got fat fucking wallets full of $100 bills. Fucking stupid motherfuckers, I swear. Quit advertising that drivers are unarmed all the fucking time. Because I swear, these motherfuckers are going to run up on the wrong driver who don't give a fuck about these policies. And there's going to be a motherfucking passenger laying on the ground with a hole in him. But some of these drivers, yeah, they're going to make it home to their families. Trust me on that shit. They ain't playing with these fucking policies because they know criminals don't play with policies. That's just how shit works out. That's why I hate sitting on the side of the fucking road waiting for people. Because you don't know what criminals are going to do. They don't give a fuck I'm an Uber driver. Oh, you can't rob me, dog. You can't carjack me. I'm an Uber driver, and it's against the fucking policy. Oh, shit, my bad, dog. I forgot y'all had that policy, man. I apologize. Let me go jack somebody else. Yeah, right. Those motherfuckers be like, y'all dumb motherfuckers actually sitting here abiding by that policy. Motherfucker, this is the real world. They don't nobody play by that fucking Uber book. Motherfuckers walking around with an Uber book in their hand. Wait a minute, chapter three says you got to cross at the fucking green light. Fuck that shit. These motherfuckers doing whatever they want to do out in these streets. And Uber is like, yeah, our drivers are not permitted to carry weapons, and they must allow you to smack the shit out of them. We'll give them a $5 fucking bonus if you smack the shit out of one of our drivers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, try me, motherfucker, and see what happens. Uber gonna be like, Jeff, you're deactivated. Like, I give a fuck. I'll knock that motherfucker out cold. <laughs> smack me if you want to. Shit. We have a right to defend ourselves. We're humans, motherfucker. We ain't y'all little fucking robots. We're humans. It's like shit. So I'm sitting on the side of the fucking road waiting. Got eight more minutes. I keep looking at my rear view mirrors, looking all over the place. That's where a motherfucker run up on me. They don't get a fucking surprise. I'm going to drag their ass down the street in this fucking BMW. They going to look like Cinderella getting drugged by the fucking pumpkin at midnight. Drive your ass home, motherfucker. You guys gonna be getting drugged by the bumper in this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. I don't play. This little orange beamer don't play. This is the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Fuck around with me if you want to. Shit. Yeah, Mark never messes me back. That's cool. Says delivered, but it doesn't say red. Boy, these motherfuckers are lucky. He lucky that this motherfucker's $19 for the airport. Because I swear to God, if this was like a fucking $4 ride, I would have been gone. That's why I don't fuck around with these low price rides when I got to wait for people. Shit. Motherfuckers be like, well, I, like earlier tonight, dude did that shit. So I show up at the motherfucking, you know, at the hotel to pick his ass up. I'm sitting there. I was telling King James that shit. So I'm sitting there. The motherfucker never came out. I was like, hold the fuck up. Dude is still sitting in his room. I've been sitting in front of the ballet for like fucking a minute. Motherfucker never budged. So I'm like, I'm gonna give his ass another fucking minute. I gave him 30 seconds. Motherfucker never budged. I hit cancel fucking ride and took off. <laughs> it's like, sometimes I surprise me, motherfucker. I'll say, I'll give you a minute. Yeah, 15 fucking seconds later, I'm driving the fuck off. I shock me. <laughs> it's like, I can't even wait on me, motherfucker. That's how impatient I am with this shit. I don't wait on myself. I tell myself, self, wait a minute. Fucking 15 seconds later, I'm driving the fuck off. <laughs> that shit. I don't fuck around with these people, man. All right, we got five minutes. Five minutes. And then right after this one, I got another one. So it's going to be like this one. Then I go up to Thomas, pick that guy up. Like I said, that's my last schedule. That's why I don't like doing the schedule ride shit. I can't tell you the last time when I've done a scheduled ride. This is some Vinny shit. This is some Vinny Cuz shit right here. That motherfucker's the scheduled ride goddamn king. His ass be like, yeah, man, I got a scheduled ride for fucking $65. 
They got another one for fucking 42. I'm like, dude, how do you get all these high dollar ass fucking scheduled rides? What the fuck? That's where they got Vinny Peg with the system. That motherfucker get all the good rides. My rides, scheduled rides be like 19 bucks. Scheduled ride, seven dollars. Fuck all that. Motherfucker ever scheduled me for seven dollars. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Wait till y'all see that shirt though. That new shirt I got coming out, man, that shit's funny as hell. Cause I be saying that shit all the time. Shit, I ain't doing that. Shit, what the fuck this dude that man? That's what I'm saying. Uber, Uber's fucking with me, man. Uber be fucking with me. Cause I swear, when this motherfucker right here, when it turns, wait a minute, I got five minutes to go. Okay, so at three fifteen. I swear to God, if this motherfucker don't give me the money at 3.15, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Because I sat here for like 13 minutes. I've been sitting here for a fucking minute now. So if they don't give me the money at 3.15, shit. Uber ain't never going to get another schedule ride out of me ever. Ever. Fuck that. And I be trying, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to help Uber the fuck out sometimes. But these motherfuckers, man, they be on some other shit. They need to give us an incentive to take scheduled rides, especially when we showing up this damn early. Be like, you know what? Just because you showed up early, we're going to give you some fucking money for that. Because they still giving me $19 no matter how early I showed the fuck up. And that's the sad part. I think I deserve a little bit more than that. But we'll see. <sighs> Man, there ain't nobody out. It's empty as a motherfucker out here. Which is cool, which is cool. I'm just sitting back, chilling. I'm about to end this fucking recording and fucking take my ass home in a minute. But I got that other schedule ride shit. Man, I ain't doing this shit no more. I ain't doing no more schedule rides. Just, it's just not my fucking personality. I mean, I can see if I had a motherfucking minivan. I could sit back, lay the seats and shit back, watch motherfucking DVDs or something. I don't know. But sitting in this little ass car, nah. This car is made to drive, motherfucker. This is a driving car. This ain't no fucking camper. I need a goddamn minivan so I can go do some goddamn scheduled rides in my minivan. It's like, this motherfucker's outside watching goddamn National Lampoon's DVDs and shit waiting on us. Fuck yeah. See, I ain't got time for this shit, man. I ain't got time for this shit. Like I said, this is just an airport ride. I live by the airport. So no matter what, I got to go that way any fucking way, whether or not I'm paid. So hopefully I get paid. Because if I have to just drive home with my own fucking gas, I'm right around the corner from it. So I don't really give a shit. Damn, but I got that other schedule. I keep forgetting I got that other scheduled ride. Shit keep fucking forgetting that shit because i selected two of them the fuck was i thinking never again i'll select some three o'clock in the morning fucking schedule rides i'll tell these motherfuckers i'll be out driving if anybody needs a ride and they hit the app up i'm out i ain't doing no more schedule shit i can tell you that much now I'm done with that shit these motherfuckers man I've been here. It's giving them another minute and 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Let me see if you fucking even read this shit. Nope, still says delivered. Motherfucker ain't even read the message. This is the shit I'm talking about right here. This is the shit I'm talking about. Man, I swear. Fucking people waste my time. And I'm a patient fucking person. Really, I am. I know it seems like some of my recordings, I'm very impatient. I'm just impatient when it comes to people, like, wasting my time, knowing that I'm sitting somewhere. They're like, oh, he's just a driver. He'll wait. Motherfucker, no, I won't. I'm an old school corporate motherfucker. Do not have me waiting. Because, I like I said, when we start the meeting at 8 o'clock, the meeting is starting at 8 o'clock. If you running late, you're going to get some fucking crusty-ass fucking donuts and some warm-ass goddamn juice. You started late. We already got this motherfucker going. And once we leave the meeting, whatever you miss is just what you miss. If somebody feels like telling you, that's on them. The meeting minutes might not have everything we talked about. So a motherfucker got to be real nice to you and be like, hey, this is what you missed because you was like 30 minutes fucking late. 
most of us, shit, we there on time for a fucking reason. You're fucking kidding me. This motherfucker really started the timer over again. What? Are you fucking serious? No way. It didn't give me no fucking money. It just started over. Now it's got it. It's showing him there now. Let's see if he picked this. Okay, now he's got it saying red. New message from Mark. On okay. our way now. You lucky motherfucker, because I was about to peel the fuck out. You were lucky as a bitch. <laughs> I was about to be like, fuck this shit. All right, recording's over. He's on his way. Okay, Mark was pretty cool. I just dropped him and his wife off. I'm about to head up to, looks like Scottsdale, almost six, seven miles away. Go pick up these people, bring them right back to the airport. So this is what I do. So I'm gonna cruise up there real quick, pick them up, shoot back by. So this is 12 miles total, and this trip will be for like $18, almost 14 miles total. Because if I got a seven there, seven back, 14 miles, then I'm getting like $18, whatever. I wish I got a bonus. Hopefully these people were tipping me and shit like that. Because like I said, with the way the apps are stealing tips and shit, you never really know if people are. And we know this shit's happening. It ain't no fucking secret. And we just got to catch these motherfuckers doing it. Because I swear, it's going to be more than just saying, oh, you owe me $10. No, nah, I'm going to sue these motherfuckers for punitive damages. I catch them stealing my shit. I just ain't got time right now. But I'm working on it. I'm going to get their ass. All right. So we're going to hit Sky Harbor. How am I getting there? Let's see. Oh, shit. I got to cut through the Botanical Garden. Yeah, this will be fun. I got to cut up Priest. All right. Let's do it, then. If that's what we're going to do, let's do it. Out of here. here we go again with that waiting shit i just sent her a message saying hey i arrived a little early we'll see what happens i said another fucking 13 14 minutes hanging out because this one's at 1870 355 like i said it took me seven miles to get up here seven miles back so 14 miles for 1870 it's crap straight crap in my eyes, that's a garbage ride, because y'all know how I do. I can get 14, I can get $18 in like five miles. I don't need to do fucking 14 miles. So this is the last time I'm doing scheduled rides. That's it. I'm done doing this shit. Can't do it. Just dropped off Taylor. And I got, let's see. This is what I've got. So it's $51. We drove for about an hour total, even though it says $235. These are all my trips here. So that one is 13 minutes, 8 minutes, and 12 minutes. So that's about 25. So about 35 minutes right there of driving. But of course, I had to get to the people. And that one was right by my house, right here in Tempe. So I got that easy. This was probably about 10 minutes to get to. So I think about, a, I will say about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes it took me to make that. So like I said, that's 13 and 8. That's about 22. Yeah, about 14 and 8. That's about 22. Add that. It's about 34. 34 minutes. And it probably took me maybe, I'd say, 20 minutes total to get. So 54 minutes. I'll say 54 minutes total. And I made, what, $21. I mean, $51. So not bad. Not bad. Almost a dollar a minute, pretty much. Almost a dollar a minute. But of course, I had a tip on one of these. There was my tip right there for 684. Taylor, she's still going through the airport, so she's not gonna tip until after she gets established and everything. My first ride, a little $7 ride, that was by my house, definitely not going to tip. Like I said, and it's cool if she don't. Like I said, it was, it was getting me to where I needed to go anyway, so I don't really care about that being a tip, but the other ones are pretty cool. So there we go, you know, 12 minutes, you know, eight, 14, bad. I like that, I like that, not too bad, not too bad. Almost a dollar a minute, a little more than a dollar a minute. So I, I could deal with that, I could deal with that. Okay, I just opened up Lyft to see what they got. Since Lyft has bonuses right now and Uber doesn't have any bonuses, I'm gonna see what Lyft's gonna throw at me. Hopefully they throw me something good. 
I should put it on Lux and see, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's see what Lyft starts throwing at me. Uh, where's Uber? Yep, I'm offline with Uber. So that's cool, cool. Yeah, nothing right there. That's all good. Yeah, let's see what they throw me. Like I said, I'm still right by the airport, so hopefully they try to grab me from downtown or something. I think they're probably calculating a ride for me right now to see what they can do for me. Man, I should have went to Tempe instead. But I was already coming north out of the whole, out of the airport, so I just shot north. I'm sitting around up in, in McDowell right now. So there's a couple of gas stations around here I'm gonna probably go park at and just hang so I can scout for some rides and see what's up in this area. They got a few hotels just north of me and I guarantee those people gotta get down to the airport. But if they're not paying good money, yeah, I'm not dealing with no airport traffic this morning. Like I said, the ones I did, pretty short ride to the airport and each one of them paid minimum $18 19 was one 18 is the other $26 total and I mean these rides were like three miles see I told you I should have went to Tempe what did I just say I should have went to Tempe because something's going on in Tempe right now don't know what it is but something's going on in Tempe I should have went that way but I was already aiming north anyways I'm gonna do a u-turn right here and go sit back at that gas station behind me Cause there's no use for me to keep going north of all the activities behind me any damn ways so let's do a quick whip right here but i'm not driving down to tempe fuck that i mean i'm already sitting on 225 i'm gonna get us another three dollars driving all that way for three dollars extra i'm cool on that shit. i just hit this gas station up here see if they'll throw me a ride if they throw me a ride to tempe i'll take it otherwise yeah I'm not doing all this fucking dancing around in the morning and it's almost five o'clock anyways it's like 4 20 almost five o'clock i'm gonna call it good because i'm not driving with these motherfuckers that just wake up hell no they fucking wake up out of bed got hair rollers and shit in out here fucking going 90 miles an hour these motherfuckers still got sleep in their eyes and shit i don't drive with morning people that's why you always look on the news and there be cars and shit flipped over first thing in the morning these motherfuckers can't drive like as soon as they ass wake up i get off the road these motherfuckers, I'm running late for work, motherfucker, you just was in La La Land for eight hours fucking straight, knock the fuck out, and you wake up and you driving 90 miles an hour and shit, I can't drive with you, shit, don't do it, don't do it, that's how you get your car fucking totaled out, let these morning people fuck they shit up, and they'll be calling you for an Uber ride anyway, so let them tear they shit up, oh, it ain't nothing downtown, is it? Ooh, Phoenix got three dollars. Okay, I see what you're doing, Phoenix. I see what you're doing. Well, let's open up Uber real quick. I'm gonna see something. Let's see if Uber got a, like a surge or a little bonus or something. They generating. I knew they was gonna do that shit. <sighs> Seven dollars for like six miles to go up that way. Nah, I don't want to go up that way. I'm, I'm not trying to go down that fucking way. Yeah, and they took it away from me anyways. Fuck them. I'm done with their ass. Yeah, it's too early in the fucking morning for this shit. So, let me see what Uber's doing. Because I don't fuck with Lyft that much anyways. Lyft, they be on some other shit. These motherfuckers try to get you to go farther and farther and farther. And I'm telling you, we got 30 minutes before these motherfuckers wake up. I'm not dealing with them. Just not dealing with them. I'm not turning Uber on yet. Let's see what kind of surge they got. If I'm not in no surge, I don't turn my shit on. I, yeah, I should've went to Tempe. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, 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 here. Premium update. Boop. Let's turn on fucking Lux. Since I ain't got no surge, let's turn on fuck. Damn, because they don't send me Lux rides anyways. I don't get no fucking Lux rides. So I just like to sit on Lux to show those motherfuckers I'm available. Like, guess what? I'm here to work. But since y'all ain't putting no surge on me, fuck y'all. Put a surge on me, I'll turn that shit back on regular rides. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sit on fucking Lux. I don't give a fuck if this shit sit there for five hours. I'm not going on regular rides unless I got a surge or something. I ain't got no streaks, no challenges. Look at this shit, $60 challenge. Man, I ain't doing that shit. I got till Friday morning to do that. And it's Wednesday? Yeah, I ain't doing all that shit. That's like motherfucking 70 rides in like three days. I'm not trying to do that shit and it's slow as hell right now. It ain't happening. If anything, I'll get probably 15, 20 rides in a day. That's how slow it is. If that. 
Shit, I just did Uber. I was out earlier. It wasn't shit out, so I went home. Came back, took three little rides real quick in an hour. Got that quick $51. Called that shit good. But it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking with them. Nope, nope. Like I said, and, and Lyft just keeps taking away all the surge and everything anyways. You know what? It's 4.30 in the morning, man. On a slow-ass day. It's 4.30 on a slow day. This is what we gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the regular shit. And now they, they say update. I like that when they say update. Yep. Alright, let's decline about two or three of these motherfuckers. Let's see what they got. They probably gonna give me some shit rides and I'm gonna probably kick them all out. I just won't let them know that I don't fuck with them like that. I don't even be like, oh shit, we got a driver. No, you don't. <laughs> I just want to see what kind of shit y'all throwing out there so I can decline that shit and go home early. Because I, you see where that 143 is on the map? That's about the area where I live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking hop on this right here. Because I'm right here. I can shoot right down to where it says Big Palm Trailer Park. I can jump on that little dark blue line. That's 143. And take that shit straight home. Because <laughs> like I said, I, I'm just north of the airport and I live south of the airport. I just want to see what kind of shit they throwing out. Because they tried to get me to go way over here with that last ride. They tried to get me to go way over here by where the 51 is. A little bit past the 51. Away from my house. I'm taking anything to the airport or anything down south to Tempe. I'll go to Tempe. I'll go over here. But I'm not, I'm not fucking around going towards downtown. None of that shit. They got to pay me some, some good money to do that. But like I said, it's it's about 4:30. I might just say fuck them. I'm done anyways. I ain't fuck these people, man. I'm done. I'm not about to sit here and play games with these motherfuckers. It's too early in the morning for that shit. Like I said, the day driver's about to come out. I'm getting my ass off the road. You can start seeing the sun come up. It's time for all the fucking ride share vampires to take our ass to sleep. We about to go fucking land a sarcophagus and wake the fuck up in about seven hours. Today's weather is brought to you because we know it's always hot as a motherfucker. And if you do ride share, I know you had your ass. And them motherfuckers never tip you. And that's why it's always hot as a motherfucker right now. And that's your weather report with Eddie and Vinny in the morning. I'm Rick James, bitch.